Have you ever had a friend your whole life? A friend that you've had for as long as you can remember? Well, for me, this friend isn't really a friend at all. I've had this bully for as long as I can remember. My whole life... I'm not gonna use this. Calm down. My whole life, it's been right there beside me. I can't run, hide, eat, sleep, jump, whatever, with, without it being right there beside me. I like to call it sometimes my little puppet master, because it's constantly jerking me in different directions. I also like to call it my little internal clock. Not because it tells time, but because it takes of every second of every day. Unless it's a digital clock, let's not get into that. So, if you're in lit, then you've probably read the book Front of the Class. And in this book, Brad Cohen, the main character, has to deal with Tourette Syndrome for his whole life. And it basically shows how he overcomes it. And I really love this story and the movie. It's, y'all should watch the movie. It's a really good movie. Not because it's a good story, but because I can relate with him in more ways than one. So, Tourette Syndrome has a really interesting history. And I really enjoyed researching it before this speech. So... The first reported case of Tourette Syndrome in literature was in 1825. In 1885, Dr. by the way, French neurologist, I'm going to butcher these names. <laughs> Dr. George Gilles de la Tourette, a French neurologist, described nine patients with maladies de tics. He described a condition where those affected twitched and jerked uncontrollably. In more serious cases, the sufferers, I really like that word, really shows what he thought was going on. They cried out, grunted, or even swore. One thing I want to say is that not everyone swears or grunts that has it. That's just a very small percentage of people. And getting back on track, like OCD, most people with Tourette Syndrome leave a very normal life, and they're not psychologically impaired or um, unintelligent. That's not the case with some people, if you know me. <laughs> so my experience with Tourette Syndrome has been very long and most of the time very painful road. Throughout my experience, people have asked me many questions asking why I do the things I do. And they include, why are you shrugging so much? Or is your shoulder okay? Or my favorite, are you cold? You're shivering a whole bunch. The most awkward thing I've done in my life is answer all these questions. That's mainly why I'm doing this paper so I can get all that out of the way. Uh, it also, Terra Syndrome also makes my life very interesting, and it builds up my tolerance for annoying people and very annoying things, because it's the very most annoying thing that I've ever had to do. And it also makes everything I do that much more difficult, S especially in band or music. I mean, imagine you're writing in pen for homework, which you should never do, always use a pencil, <laughs> and then suddenly, here's an example, boom. It's huge streak across the page in pen, you can't erase it, and that happens to me all the time. I am also very annoyed when I'm twirling pencils or tossing them or whatever and then they just drop or fly out of the room when I twitch and it's very annoying and it really helps build up my tolerance. And, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, another thing that you will see me do is tap my feet, drum, air drum, whistle, sing, whatever to calm my tics or just occupy my hands and mind. I'll do it because it masks them and frankly really helps. As I mentioned before, my tics make everything much more difficult. One of the worst things is that they change depending on how stressed or relaxed I am. If I'm stressed, angry, tired, or even sometimes really relaxed, they're unbearable and very severe. But whenever I am relaxed or comfortable and or sleeping, my tics are either non-existent or somewhat bearable and I can kind of control them. And it's also a very bad thing because they produce stress, and that's like mixing gasoline with fire because they're affected by stress, they produce stress. It's like an endless cycle. So hopefully now you all know a little more about what I go through and what everybody else does. And one of the reasons, as I said before, for I chose this subject is because I just want to get the awkwardness of answering all the questions out of the way. Now probably, hopefully you know why I sit in the corner and do this so much. Thank you. <laughs>